Just about set to go. Now the starting pitcher in this one, Reese Olson, and Singy, he likes pitching at home. Well, truly for him, there is no place like home. He's been so dominant here, and as a teammate, you expect him when pitching at home this year to go out and dominate just as he has. The fans expect it, and I think everyone around here knows that he's a good pitcher. Even though we don't see the same splits on the road, we're going to start to see that translate as well. Late swing, foul to the left. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball still 0 and 2. The wind to kick the pitch. That One misses ball. the zone. Now 1 and 2. And down on strikes he goes. And now one away. Well, you could tell he wasn't expecting that ball to break back in on him. He may have been looking for something away, maybe something soft, but that slider on the inside corner absolutely froze it. Here's Lane Thomas. Not one even close there. And that is ball one. One down, base is empty. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. And there are two outs. As we take a look at the Nationals lineup, and something they've talked about needing to improve on moving forward is their ability to apply consistent pressure, Chris. Right now, it's not a club that gets on base enough. And sometimes, Boog, you just need a hitter to go up there and grind out and at bat, maybe have 11, 12 pitches, and all of a sudden, players get fired up in the dugout. Ball one, that ball one ball. ran inside, almost got him. Two outs, bases empty. Oh, he doesn't get the call. Ball two. On the inside corner for a strike. Nasty 2-0 slider there for a strike. That tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. And here it comes. And Great another ball. ball. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. So, man aboard. Now a chance for Joey Manessis. Ball one. Close one doesn't get the call. Now, one and oh. Ball one. The pitch. Runner on the go. Strike in there. Throw to second. Save. Well, a nice lead and a nice steal there to get into scoring position with the heart of the order at the plate. That might just lead them to pitching around these hitters a little more because of the open base, but it's early in this ballgame. Can't imagine it'll change the attack plan too much. No hits, no errors, and one man left. And now the Tigers get their first opportunity. No score. Back here in Detroit, and today's starting pitcher, Jake Irvin. Well, coming into this game, hitters are batting under 250 against this starting pitcher. So it just shows you 
how effective he's been. He's been able to move his pitches around, add and subtract, change up the look so that hitters don't get too comfortable and start squaring up the baseball. We'll see what he's got in this one. And now, Matt Veerlin. Veerlin. The pitch. Not close with that one, and it's 1-0. And the righty deals. Right through there for a strike. Swing and a miss. And the count. One, one and two. two the wind of the pitch. Fights that one away. Still one and two. It. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Here's Riley Green. There's a strike. 95 of that one. Here's your one. And that one a little bit high. One and one. Veerlin gets his lead at first with nobody out. And he deals. Foul ball still a one and two count. Righty to the plate. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. One gone bottom half of the first. Typically that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. And now Wenzel Perez fouled off left side. Kicks and deals. Oh. And that one upstairs. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. Righty delivers. Went too far that time. It's one and two. One ball, two strikes. Man at first, one away. Made him swinging. Pulled the string of the changeup. Oh, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single back to back strikeout. So they haven't been able to move that runner off, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Mark Cannon in the box now. No balls in a strike. Foul ball. Next pitch downstairs. Going to count one and two. Good chase that time. Two outs. Still two and two after the foul ball. And the right-hander deals. 
And that's off the inside edge. And it's a full count. Goes down looking. Tigers come up empty in the first through an inning at Comerica. No score. Second baseman, Gildemaro Vargas. Vargas measures six feet even, 195 pounds, and he was born in Venezuela. The pitch. And that one fouled off. He'll walk. And clips a corner. Gary Simmons has the plate duty in this one. Well, with Simmons, it's not always your standard strike zone boog. It kind of gives a little extra in some parts of the zone and then can be tighter in others. But I think the important thing is he doesn't get labeled as inconsistent. So you got to stay ready up there. Right-hander kicks deals. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Yeah, one of those umpires, you just have to know what to expect, right? Exactly. The wind and the pitch. That one off the bad part of the bat, and just a lazy fly ball. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. One up, one down. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know this can be a little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. And now it's Kiebert Ruiz. High fly ball out to left field. Malloy gets under it. He's got it. And there's two down. That, 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 that. The left field. Two outs, yes, base is empty. empty. Here's Jesse Winker. And that one's a little bit low. Ball one. And another ball. Left hand hitter waits. Second inning here, no score. Two down, nobody on. Popped up left side. Catcher tosses the mask, settles under it, makes the grab, and that's the inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. Now to the bottom of the second. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Back at Comerica Park, bottom of the second. Stepping in, Gio Urshela. And the right hander back to work. Inside, inside just missed. Slice the other way and foul. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended. Tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Got the back going too soon at strike two. One ball. Well, as a hitter, you're two hoping strike. that the command on that sinker doesn't come until later in the ball game. But if that's how it's going to be all day, it's going to be a tough one for the offense. Got him looking. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Yeah, there's no doubt. The the second electric three. stuff from the jump. I and mean, there's just no messing around right now. It's still very early. But we could see a pretty impressive outing here if the strikeouts keep coming in the way they are. One thing you have to be aware of, though, is a high strikeout rate might impact the pitch count Inside, as the innings roll on. Colt Keith in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Ah. 
right through there for a strike. Back to back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Oh, Outside. Okay. And it's two and one. On the ground, right side, Vargas. Already two oh. out here in the home half of inning number two. That is, that is. No left field. Justin, Justin Henry. Justin Henry Malloy up now for the Tigers. And that's in for a strike. Now this guy is just filling up the strike zone right now. Don't want to get yourself in an 0-2 hole. You better be ready to pull the trigger on the first pit. And that one is lifted in the air, and that'll fall for a base hit. That's your runner first with two away. Now it's Javier Baez. center field he's got it and that is that Tigers lead one will move to the third with no score and we're back well here we go top of the third the scoreless field. game and now up for Washington yeah. number 30 Olsen back to work and that's oh, down and no away. Play. Close, nope, but ball. called the ball. And now 2-0. Two two and a pitch. Bunch attempt, but that goes foul. And a pitch. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. Frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner with two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Now at the plate, Drew Millis. And that's outside. One and oh. One out, base is empty. Slapped foul. The pitch. And That's another ball. ball. We got two balls, one strike. And he gets the inside corner. Two and two now. Three. Struck him out without a swing. He's got to be frustrated with that call. Well, it's just a great job of playing catch with the catcher. Exactly where the catcher set up is where he threw that pitch. And Probably pulled the umpire a little bit because there was no budge at all. Here's C.J. Abrams to hit. Struck out looking his first time. The Count shortstop one, oh. takes the ball. Two outs. Hey. Right through there for a strike. That's oh, off that the mark, and it's two and one. And that one is inside. Top of the third, no score.
swing and a line drive curling foul down the right side. Payoff pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Two down, nobody on. Now fly ball to right center. Sizes this one up. He makes the grab. And that is that. So they make short work of him there. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. No score. And welcome back we to the ballpark. Set five. for the bottom of the third. The and now the batter is Carson, Carson Kelly. 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 As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm ball delivers, one. that misses the ball zone, one, no and that's ball one. Swing and a foul straight back. That one finds the zone, and that's strike two. That's to third. Senzel. In plenty of time to first. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Number eight. So the lineup flips over. And next to hit for Detroit, Matt Veerling. One for one. He let off the bottom of the first with a single. Fouls went off out of play. Back to our left. Here comes a pitch. And a foul ball. And now one and two. One ball, two fastball down. way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. Pitch ball, misses. Dude. And the count is two and two. Swing and a miss struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count off at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Next to the plate is the Tigers DH. Riley Green. There's the strike. The 01. Chopped to the right side, and he picks it up in foul territory. Inside almost got him. Fouls it off, still one and two. Kicks and fires. And now two and two. And a pitch. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. Lifted in the air out to left. Winker heads towards it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that's the inning. On to the fourth. Still scoreless. As we go to the top of the fourth. Leading off, Lane Thomas. And a pitch. Hit on the ground to the right side. He'll do it himself. One up, one down. 
Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball the out of the air, the lets the defense work behind him with yeah. another ground ball. Senzel. Good execution. Now it's Nick Senzel. First pitch, and he just misses. The Nets hitless so far in the game. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Next offering upstairs. It's a good take. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And a couple of quick outs. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. Joey Manessis digging in for the Nationals. There's your strike. Oh, one's the count. Fourth inning underway, no score. And that's in for a strike. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. But why to kick the pitch? Now he breaks his back. And foul ball. Wouldn't chase that time. Ball tied up. Top half of inning number four. up the middle Keith fires over to first Nats go down one two three Nationals go quietly and we are still scoreless back here in Detroit bottom of the fourth now it's the switch hitting outfield Wenzel Perez and here it comes off the mark there, and that's ball one. Well, these Tigers, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs, can they turn that around and stay within the zone? No, no. We'll see, but I think they have to. Here's Mark Kenna. Went down on strikes his first time through. For strike one. Oh, and one. Base is empty, one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And the righty deals. Gets a piece, and it stays 0 and 2. One down, base is empty. Ball one. Swings through it for the K. Had him way out front of the slur. The third baseman, number Gio three. Rochella to the plate. Gio. Struck out looking at his first at bat. Oh, right through there for a strike. And yeah, there's a ball. Is a 1 1. That one is absolutely belted. And no one can get there. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he's in there standing up with a two out double. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win.
Next to hit, Colton Keith. Grounded out his first time up. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Well, they're looking to get on the board first here after that clutch two-out double made this inning interesting. Here comes the 0-1. There's a strike. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Out to short. Abrams. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. Now that out. No left field. Justin Hendry. So two outs with runners on the corners. Here's the left fielder, Justin Henry Malloy. One for one with a single so far. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Urshela, the runner at third. Keith at first, two out of the inning. Next offering away upstairs. Swings and sends a rocket to right. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Tigers strand a pair, still no score. Ready now for the Ready fifth inning, on. and here is Ildemaro Vargas. The wind of the pitch. There's a swing and a drive. That's back there. Gone. A monster shot to right. It's one nothing. Chris, we knew this moment was coming for him soon. Yep, and it finally came. We knew it was only a matter of time before he's going to connect with one just like that. Just too good of a hitter at the plate. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at-bat. You watch him from the on-deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. And here's the D.H. for Washington. Hebert Ruiz. And a foul ball. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Nobody on. Nobody out with a run in. And we're at the top of the fifth. That one missing inside. line drive now with the whole side met it out front but just stayed yes, through man. it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield so up next Jesse Winker he popped out his first time foul ball there Winker 30 years old now a former first round pick back in 2012 Rudder at first with no outs here. Whoa, Next offering is down low. There's a shot. And that one missing low. That misses. Full count now. Yeah. 
pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit. Just not able to square it up. And that's ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Not the start to this inning he was hoping for on the mound. Now he's going to have to really dial it up against the bottom part of this lineup to get out of this jam. Fought off foul. The pitch. Out to short. And it's through for a hit. They won't test it here. Base is loaded. No outs. Oh, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. Now the base is loaded. Big opportunity for them to break this game open. Drew Millis digging in for the Nationals. Golden opportunity right here. That one's in there. And it's all in one. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Kicks and deals. That's Off the ball. mark there. One and one. You need a strikeout, and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop up something, but you've got to make some. It weakly on the ground towards second. Over to Baez. Safe at first. They won't get them both, and the runner comes in from third. So the Nets lineup turns over. C.J. Abrams digging in for the Nationals. First pitch misses. Tigers bullpen with some action. Tarek Skubal getting loose for A.J. Hinch. Engler, the right-hander, loosening up as well. Winker on third. Millis over at first, so one away. Next All offering two. is downstairs. Two Tough ball. spot right here. A no couple play. runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Nope. Just missed. Next hey. offering is in for a strike. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way at that time a little anxious now the number two hitter Lane Thomas That pitch gets the corner one corners are occupied with two down And there's a foul ball Andy O2. Out to short. Baez. They get the force. Out. That ends the inning. And they limit the damage. But two runs for them and they jump ahead. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Nationals two and the Tigers nothing. Back at Comerica Park. John Chami with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five. Javier Baez. The pitch. Ball oh. one there. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any oh, hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0, he's put Whoa, himself in a really good spot. 
Next pitch misses, and it's 3 0. Now, in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. And that drops in for a strike. That one misses. Nope. So a leadoff walk. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggling to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. And next up for the Tigers, Carson Kelly. For a strike. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stay out of that double play. And this is inside. At the belt and finals. And a count one and two. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. And he deals. That one way inside. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. The 2 2 now. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Well done behind the dish. Up next to the tie -by. The center the center. And now the center fielder, Matt Veerland, one for two. Baez runs. Pitch is low. Well there. Safe. Pretty close play on that one. And a perfect throw probably gets him. That throw was just a little wide to the third base side of the back, so he had to reach a little bit to get it. Could have been just enough to make the difference there. Runner at second here, one gone. That one finds the zone, and it's one and one. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Get a little frustrated with the strike zone. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Now, Riley Green up now for the Tigers. Green. Immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. The Nationals up by two. Last half of inning number five. Righty to the plate. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. He continues to roll on the mound as five shutout innings are in the books. It's the Nationals two and the Tigers nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now the third baseman, Nick Senzel. Nick Senzel. Olsen back to work. And the oh, first pitch misses for ball one. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike one. Oh, no, Feels like the changeup right there. Just pulled the string. Next oh, pitch is outside. Great. Really good take, especially with two strikes. 
Line drive, base hit, right field. And the leadoff man aboard. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Menezes at the plate ball now. One, no That's three. ball one. That one out. not close, and it's 2-0. and oh. He's clearly trying to work him away here, both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. Hey. Last ball for a strike. The 2-1. Stays alive. Just missing there. Three and two now. Nobody out. Runner at first. Three. Strike three. Looking on the changeup. He's got to throw any pitch in any count. 3 2. He goes off speed. Gets the out. Ildemaro Vargas digs in now. He's already homered in this game. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Senzel leads off first with one away. Hey. Pitch is in for a strike. And now it's even one and one. Hater deals. Oh. And that's downstairs and outside. Almost a hundred pitches through five and a third innings. I'm thinking he's probably done in the next couple of batters. Next yeah, offering is outside. So here we go. Base runner at first could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring nope. position, oh. even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. Pitch count's getting up there now, and not saying that's the reason now, for this walk, yeah, but yeah, this yeah. is the point in the game yeah. when every sign of wavering starts yeah. to get everyone's attention. Here's A.J. Hinch heading towards the mound, and we're going to see a pitching change right here. Reese Olsen is done, and they trail as he exits, but he kept them close. A new arm will be on the mound after the break. Eric Skubal comes on now. Number Just trying to keep this one close here. And this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Up now for Washington, Hebert Ruiz. That one, one almost got him. And that's in for a strike. Dangerous spot for that slider right there. He didn't seem to quite finish out front and get that sharp break. Tell you what, he doesn't want to throw that pitch again. Good eye on that spot. That one fouled off two and two. Runners at first and second with one gone. And we're the top half of the sixth. That's down and in. Foul ball, and it remains a full cow. The pitch. And they're all loaded up. 
you get along, and you get along. Everyone gets along. Jesse Winker digging in for the Nationals. Siggy, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know I like to talk about, I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. And that one hit to first. Dives, and he can't hang on. Still able to get it there in time. So they get the out, but a run does score. Here's the center fielder. Here he is in a spot where he makes most of his money against left-handed pitching. And there's a strike. Action in the pen down there. Zach McKinstry getting loose for A.J. Hinch. Second and third, two down. in there and it's a one two well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations if he takes that approach he could bust this game wide open slow roller to third zips it across they limit the damage here one run in the inning but they leave two part of the order three four five coming up it's the nationals three and the tigers nothing Well, we go bottom six, and now here is Wenzel Perez. The right hander back to work. That misses the zone, and it's one to know. Definitely a frustrating day for the offense, but when they look at it, this guy's had his best stuff. He's painting the corners, working on the edges, and changing speeds. Just a difficult one to tip your cap. Right through there for a strike. the ground the first Manessis oh. takes it himself one away bottom of the six the first base number 21 Mark Mark Cannon up now for the Tigers hey. it's the call that's strike one all oh, ones account Fly ball to right. Under it. Makes the catch for the out. Out number two. The third base is number 13. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Gio Urshela. Urshela. Just missed. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense just sputter, not able to get anything going. Two outs. Way outside, two and one. That's in there. Got him looking. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. So another good inning for him on the mound. Six shutout innings now. It's the Nationals three and the Tigers nothing. So the Tigers get a new arm from the pen, Mason Engler. He pitched yesterday now and we'll see him Tigers. once again. Number 53, Mason and it's the catcher for the Nationals, Drew Millis. Drew Millis. Here comes a pitch. That one missed. You know, these Nationals, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They've hit seven line drives already, and even though some of them have been for outs, That's there's it. nothing All wrong two. with delivering consistent, hard contact. That's almost always going to lead to positive results. Right-hander kicks deals. On the ground to short. 
Baez fires over to first. It's the catcher by a step. Oh, boy, we talk about how the ball is coming out of the pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. Back to the top of the lineup, C.J. Abrams digging in for the Nationals. To the right side. Canna steps on the bag and two away to start the seventh. Hey, man, that. four pitches, two Boy, outs. Right that is an Lane. excellent pace. Thomas. Lane Thomas digging in for the Nationals. And he pumps it a strike. Outside oh, wow. low, and it's one and one. And that's too high. Two down, nobody on. Here at the top half of inning number seven. That's ball, outside. That's and that's ball three. Popped up. Foul territory behind the play. Kelly drifts towards it. And he makes the catch. And that's the third out. And the Nationals gone in order. But they lead it 3-0. And we're back. Set for the last half of the seventh at the play. Colt Heath. The wind of the pitch. Fouled off. He was late. In there at the knees for a strike. He's been very consistent with his command out there on the mound. Consistently throwing at the knees. Pretty impressive when a guy can repeat his delivery like this. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, I think he's got to be feeling pretty invincible out there on the mound right now. I mean, he's got the shutout working so far. And even when he challenges these guys, he's getting away with it. That pitch right there really wasn't anything special. A hittable pitch, but he gets the punch out. Swing and a foul straight back. 99 pitches about to throw his 100th here in the seventh inning. This is where you really start looking for any signs of fatigue. Out front and foul to the left side. Pitch one in ball. the dirt and two the count three. one and two. Hit weakly on the ground. Tosses to first and that quickly two away. Up next Baez digs in right side. Oh, yeah. He's over one. That one fouled off. And a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. In the dirt, and the two count strike. is one and two. Moving in the bullpen, Kyle Finnegan looks to be getting ready for Dave Martinez. Harvey also throwing. Righty delivers. Two, two, the count. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. The Tigers trailing by three here at the bottom of the seven. And it's filled up. Two. And he walked him. Well, he's starting to look a little gassed to me, and we'll see if they go to the bullpen yeah, in this spot or not. The catcher. Carson. Here's the catcher, Carson Kelly. That's in there. 
Strike one. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good. Baez runs. Oh, Pitch inside. Throw. Thanks. No save. There's the strike. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. That one hammered left field. Way back there. That's the long ball. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 3-2. Well, that swing changes things. Yes, it does. They were in striking distance. They found a way to fight back big time. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. It appears Dave Martinez is ready to dive into his bullpen as he comes out of the dugout to make the change. Jake Irvin will depart. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Now on the mound for the Nationals, Dylan Floro. And as relievers go, he's not a big strikeout guy. He tries to force weak contact, so command and execution are huge for him. Back to the top of the Detroit order. Matt Veerling up now for the Tigers. That one the other way. Nice grab. Well, that one was headed for the gap, but a nice leaping catch. He goes up. Perfect timing, and that will end the inning. Back here in Detroit, ready to begin the eighth. To the batter now, Nick Senzel. Nick Senzel. And a pitch. That's towards center. Veerling sizing this one up. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Woo. He was all over that first pitch fastball. Just barely missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. Joey Manessis digging in for the Nationals. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. That one pushed foul. Engler, a 6'4 righty, 24 years old, and he was drafted in the fourth round back in 2018. In the air, right side of the infield. Canna settles under it and makes the grab. Two down. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop up and an easy out for the defense. He swings and fouls one off. Two outs. Well. It's fouled away. Man, this has been a real important inning in relief. I mean, so far, they've been doing a great job holding that deficit at one. Two down, nobody on. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Right-handed reliever. Fights that one away, still one and two. Kicks and fires. This to third, and that one handled. Sends it across the first, third out, and that ends the frame. Nothing doing for Washington, but they're up three to two.
back at Comerica Park. And now the DH, Riley Green. Here you go. For the Tigers, the designated hitter, Riley Green. The pitch. Aim for a strike. It's 0-1. Looking to get the tying run on base. And that one finds its way through. Love how he let that ball travel. Now trusted his right hands. Right nice job of going the other way. No outs. Runner at first. And up next for Detroit, Wenzel Perez. Trying to move him over here. Manessis. They apply the tag, and the runner moves up to second. The first base is number 21. Mark. Mark. Now here's the Tigers' cleanup hitter, Mark Cannon. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. Pitch ball misses. One. Ball one. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. So the tying run at second. And a count one and two. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. Battling here as he fouls it away. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough oh, pitches. And that one almost hit him. Trying to hold a one-run lead here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. The third base Derek Law on the pitch here. And compared to a lot of other relievers, strikeouts have not been a big weapon for him this year. So the defense should be active. Derek Law. Your Shella steps in one for three. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, but not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an in bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. Come yeah. on and missed 96 with that fastball. Oh, they hope he's the guy to spark a comeback. He tends to play better when his team is behind, so why not him? Right through there for a strike. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away, if you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for hitters to square that up. That's what you'd love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. One Not ball. even close two there. Strikes. One and two to count. On the ground to third. Tosses to first. Inning over. One left for Detroit. They trail it. 3-2. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's the DH. Hebert Ruiz. And a pitch. That one drilled left field. And that's a fair ball. And that rolls into the corner. Around first, heading for two. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Anytime you rip the line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. So, man aboard. Next to hit for the Nats, Jesse Winker. Out towards right center. That's well struck. 
And an automatic double as it hops the fence. As a run scores. He puts a great swing on that pitch and drives home the run. And that was always going to be a double, but the bounce over the wall just took the guesswork out of it right away. It was a nice swing. And now the center fielder. And a foul ball. Missed with a changeup, and that is ball one. And That's another ball. Through. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. And here it comes. And that one fouled off. And the pitch. I Struck see. him out looking. <laughs> Drew Millis digging in for the Nationals. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. There's the strike. Both pitches on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking, I'm going to get beat here. This is a good time for something off speed away. Line, and that's a base hit. Just kind of slice that one into center. You'll often hear the phrase, short to it, long through it. And that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. And now here's the Nationals' leadoff man, C.J. Abrams. In the air, right side, Perez in position, brings it in, runner tagging from third. He's in on the sacrifice fly, and they lead by three. Sometimes all you got to do is your job, no, no, no. and don't like overcomplicate things. Keep Wait. it simple. Runner right third, less uh -huh. than two outs. Put the ball in play, and a nice job with the sack fly. And now up for Washington, Lane Thomas. Hey. That's in there. Going one. Two runs across in the inning. Here at the top of the ninth. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. That ends the frame. They get two runs on three hits, no errors, and one left. Six, seven, eight scheduled to start the bottom of the ninth. It's the Nationals five, Tigers two. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Kyle Finnegan. Now left-handed batter at the plate, and he's been excellent in those matchups this year. So this seems like a calculated move. Colt Keith now at the plate. The second baseman. Keith. The pitch. That one finds the corner. That's strike one. Left hand hitter waits. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. And that one hit 97 on the gun. On the ground to third. Sentel over to first. 
And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Now back at the left field. Justin Henry. Justin Henry Malloy up now for the Tigers. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Bases empty one away here in the last half of inning number nine. Next nope, pitch is downstairs. Ball. At the belt and fires. There's a strike. Now two and one. Next offering is fouled back. Swing and a miss. Just one out remaining for the Tigers. Well, we saw a solid effort out of their starter, and the bullpen is following suit. It's just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach when you can hand the ball off to the ball arms and get stability from all of their performances. Baez stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. That two-seam fastball is usually coupled with a slider away, and when a hitter's conscious of the pitch in, it's hard for him to cover middle away, and that's where a pitcher can really finish off that batter. Next offering way off the plate. A little bit low. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. And it's ball four. four. He missed blow. down low. Definitely lost the handle during that sequence. Four pitches for the walk. Yeah. And that last one didn't even threaten the zone. Yeah. Yeah. Might want to go talk to him. And next to hit for Detroit, Carson Kelly. He's already homered here in this one. ball and this should do it and that'll do it well this was a tightly played game got a little of everything some timely hitting runs on the board key pitching and defense in certain spots definitely a fun one to watch and your final score 5-2 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB the show I'm John Chambi saying so long